Okay, hey guys, it is me, Sky or Sam, I don't know which one I usually use on here. Oh my god, it is so freaking cold down here in the freaking south, like, we thought it was going to be all nice and kind of summery, springy, because, I mean, come on, it's what, March? Yeah, it's March, it's March at this point. I had already, like, started uh, doing my little seedling plants and all that, and then what happens, a freaking cold front. My microphone is actually freaking freezing at this mo moment. Um, because I just got it from the trunk of my car. <laughs> um, because I was like, oh no, it's the day before I have to post. I really should do this audio. Um, so before going back to sleep, because I was just getting my brother on the bus for school, I said, hey, let's get this done. Um, so, do 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 do. I have. I don't know what I have. Oh yeah, let me let me tell you about this drawing. So basically what was going on was I wanted bookmarks because I like to read and so <laughs> you know, I'm all about that book life. So I was getting I was uh gonna make some bookmarks on some watercolor paper, just this uh tiny little sheet. And they end up not being bookmarks because they look really cool in the end and I just could not bear to like separate them. Um, so I ended up just trying out some patterns with watercolors and, like, seeing how my watercolors blend and all that and just having some fun with it. And I ended up doing these three little drawings, um, one on each of the little sections. I wish I put more effort into them because they were just going to be bookmarks. So, you know, I wasn't going to put in too much effort because, you know, bookmarks get, uh, you know, messed up pretty quick and all that. And you lose them. It's, it's, it's a thing with bookmarks, um, <laughs> you know. It's a rough and tumble life. And then they end up looking really cool. <laughs> I was like, no. Um, so, uh, I ended up doing these three different types of girls. One was an alien. One is like a mermaid. She is not facing. The other two, you can see their face. And she's just like, not today, bitches. And um, the other one is like a demon-esque girl. I was originally going to do cats, okay? Like, these were going to be cat bookmarks, but then I just wasn't feeling, like, the whole cats with the backgrounds I did, and so I was just like, nah, I guess I'll just do weird, uh, different themes for each one. Maybe I'll do cats with aliens. That'd be kind of cute. Uh, maybe, maybe that'll be an upcoming video. <laughs> So, today, what am I talking about? I had it. I think I forgot it. Let me look at my little book right here. Um, because I think it's... <gasps> I remember, I remember. Teachers. Okay, okay. Um, so, my family... <sighs> well, really, my mom, my aunt, and my uncle. Oh, my God. So, my mom, my aunt, my uncle went to a private school for most of their childhood outside of my uncle um in his high school career he ended up I, towards the end he ended up not going to the private school he ended up going to the public school which was statesboro high which i went to i actually would go to school and um see all his trophies and stuff and see photos of him because he was this uh, big old football dude who his senior year decided fuck football and then got major scholarships for uh, his brains. He was also the one that told me when I take AP classes, don't take the AP test. And I thank him for that because there's so much. I'm in college right now. There's like so much shit in AP classes. Like you get a lot and it gives you like a head start. But at the same time, there's a lot that they don't cover in your AP classes. And so there's going to be a good bit that you miss. 
and it's just it's just good to have a review because most of them like I was I was just going on the edge. It was AP classes were not always the best time for me. They they were not. Um, like I and really enjoyed most of them, but some some just made me want to drink. Like goddamn AP government. Oh my god, I hated AP government. AP government actually did lead me to drink. <laughs> um. But I'm sober now. <laughs> now, um, AP government was a trip. I will probably rant about it some other day. But right now, we're gonna talk about my mom, my aunt, my uncle, and their private school tendency to attack their teachers. Oh my lord! We, I actually have a few stories uh, from their private school years, but I'm just going to tell you a little bit because I kind of want this to be a short video for once. <laughs> Under 20 minutes? That would be nice. Um, Because this kills my voice. You have no idea. I have to talk so loud so this microphone picks it up well enough that y'all can hear well. And I'm already ready to start coughing and I'm trying to hold it back and saying I'm ready to cough was not smart. So um, at their private school, it was full of rich kids. Okay, let's be honest here. It was rich kids, and, you know, like, half of it was rich kids, half of it was just, like, kind of middle-class kids, like, higher middle-class, and then it was, like, my mom and her siblings, and, like, they were kind they went because uh, my great-grandfather was rich, and he was, he didn't want them going to school with black people. Let's be honest here. He was a bit of a racist. He didn't see himself as racist because, you know, the times. But it, it was a whole thing. Um, <laughs> I just realized how badly the paint on my chair is deteriorating. Oh, God. I got to repaint this motherfucker. But I don't got that much paint. I don't got enough paint. But I got to fix this. Um, yeah, it was a... I never met him. I did meet his wife. But I was a baby. So I have no memories. I just have photos and videos of it. <laughs> um, so, you know, they end up going to this private school. And... the These kids ran rampant. They, they just did whatever the fuck they wanted. Let's be honest here. Because if the rich kids were doing it then the other ones could do it because they couldn't just punish the lower class kids. They had they would have to punish all of them and they never punish the rich kids unless it's something major mujo serious. Um, they did not punish the kids for this story I'm about to tell you. Um, <laughs> and they should have. I so would have punished my damn kid um, if they did this. So... They ended, uh, the school, uh, my mom's class ended up attacking two teachers. One, one was a horrible teacher and uh, was the first one, I think. And the other one, the other one, um, didn't deserve it, but I think the kids were still kind of hyped. So they, I think they drove her insane or something. They like, they messed with her. Oh, that poor lady. <laughs> that poor lady. I don't... So basically, all the rich kids got all the lower class kids um, and all and um, together and rallied. And there was just, I think, this one math teacher. I think he was a math teacher who was just horribly mean. Like, he was just honestly an asshole. And everyone hated him. Just deeply hated this man. And so, they end up, if I'm correct, they end up actually physically jumping this man, like a group of 30 kids, because that was how big an entire class of them. It was just 30 kids uh, for each year, and it was like 30 or 60. Um, you know, this giantess group, they end up actually physically jumping him and like beating the shit out of him. But they also go, if I'm correct, take the tires off his car, put uh, put his car in cinder blocks. And 
I don't remember what else they did to the car. They either, like, beat the shit out of it or something. And, um, I think he ends up going to the hospital. He actually continues to work at that school. Um, which I would not have done after that, but I think he was just like, fuck you, I'm gonna show you up. Um, <laughs> and the other lady, I think they just kind of end up messing with her car and messing with her chair and stuff and just, like, kept on doing shit that drove her insane. Like, I don't think they physically jumped her, um, but they did mess with her a lot and she ended up kind of going a little crazy and, um, I don't know if she got fired or if she was given leave to get some help. Um, but yeah, I actually felt really bad when I heard about that for her. And, um, fun fact, my mom and my aunt, my uncle, when my mom would drive them home, they had, they ended up being behind the teacher that they had jumped. They would follow behind him, um, for most of the drive, uh, until they got to their house. And <laughs> this man, you know, after being jumped, right, rightfully so, got very paranoid and thought that my mom and my aunt were stalking him. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> that poor man. That poor man. I don't think he quite deserved to be jumped. Um, you know, it was really messed up. They got, you know, the students... Um, did not get reprimanded at all. Did not get any form of punishment because the rich kids ran the school. And so, and the school wasn't about to punish the rich kids, but they couldn't punish, you know, the, the middle class kids and, um, you know, lower class kids, you know, without punishing the rich kids. Because they could be like, well, what about them? Why didn't you punish them? Kind of thing. And, um, so, <laughs> so they jumped this poor man. And they get in no trouble. No trouble. And then he becomes convinced that my mom and my aunt are following him home every day. Like stalking him. Um, until about, you know, when they get to their house. And he ends up like calling up their, um, calling up my grandma and grandpa. And being like, you know, why your, your kids are following me? Why are they doing this? And they had to prove to this man that this is the route they have taken every day since my mom started driving and it's the route my grandma used to take them to get home from school and all that and it was just you know he, it was a bit much but you know he, you can kind of understand you know he just been jumped by all of his students and now he thinks he's being followed by them probably plan another jumping and he he was getting very paranoid. I think after a while he did leave. Like after that year he left. He was like, "Fuck this! It's not worth it." He uh, he just he was he was sticking it out to the end. And um, you gotta kind of feel bad for him. Honestly, I don't know what I would have done in that situation. I probably would have been that one lady that went crazy. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. I'm tired. I need to go back to bed. I needed this. Why are you? Oh, I was yawning. I need this. I needed this audio recorded. So um, yeah, that was that was the story of the time my mom and my aunt and all of her classmates, all of their classmates, attacked a teacher. Don't you wish we could have done that? No, um, I actually, there was not a single teacher I I had that I disliked enough to attack them. I mean, it's just, it's kind of crazy, you know, that they disliked a teacher enough to jump them, and that they had, they had enough power in the school to get away with it. I, I remember, you know, going through all my classes, even in high school and all that, there was never a teacher I disliked enough to jump them like there was somewhere I would like grumble and like be all pissed about but never to jump the damn teacher oh my god and it's just it's a trip it's a, a trip uh, I gotta go to sleep and then I gotta edit this audio <laughs> uh, uh, hopefully I have the video set up because I'm going to a party tomorrow so um 
I have to have this video all set up. I have to set it up today and basically have it set up on the YouTube channel so I can just click publish while I'm at the party tomorrow and uh, be done. Oh, I'm going to have to find out times to freaking record a video. Shoot, because I'm going to be gone all spring break. <laughs> okay, well, I've taken up enough of y'all's time. I need to go to bed. I've talked a lot. My voice is a little hoarse now. I really got to get more used to this. I got to do my audio a bit more in the advance. Uh, but I'm about to go back to bed because it is too early for me to be awake. Honestly. It's like 6 in the morning and I'm not about that life. <laughs> so, uh, peace out. Hope you'll have a good day. You know, <laughs> hope everything's good with y'all. <laughs> I have no clue what I say at the end. Um, you know, check me out on my Instagram. The link is in the description. Um, if I could get my dog to bark, I would so he could say bye. But he is sleeping on my pillows because he's an ass. <laughs> um, peace out. Hope you have a great day. Um, hope something makes y'all smile. Bye.